This is our hanging bat craft that we're going to make today. Have fun creating your own colony. If you want to try something different and crazy in honor of Halloween, get some glow in the dark paint and create this. Supplies need to make your cute bat craft. Scissors, a template, feel free to cut it out whenever you like. Hot glue, liquid glue. Pipe cleaners for the feet. Any type of plastic spoon, it doesn't matter the color. We're using black today, but if you have white, never fear. You could use spray paint, permanent markers, acrylic paint to color it, it's all good. Crayons, and don't forget the googly eyes. Make sure everybody cuts out all your bat pieces so we can begin coloring. But before we do, I want to make sure everybody knows what kind of animal a bat is. So what kind of animal is a bat? Yeah, it's a mammal, and bats are the only true flying mammals on the planet. You might be thinking about flying squirrels, but flying squirrels can only glide. They don't have the ability to sustain flight. So bats are amazing, and they're the only true flying mammal. It's time to start coloring our bat. Did you know that bats have their own order called Chiaptera? Everybody say Chiaptera. It's such a cool word. And that means hand wing. And just like humans, bats have five fingers, believe it or not. So we're gonna color in the five fingers. So first we're gonna color in, there's the thumb, finger one, finger two, finger three, finger four. And then you'll just do it on the other side. So just repeat the process. And if you want to have a folding bat, turn it over and color everything on the other side. But we're not gonna have a folding bat today. So I'm gonna start coloring in my bat. And today I'm just gonna do some browns and blacks and grays. Bats come in a variety of colors. How many species of bats do you think live on the planet? The entire planet. Yeah, do you believe that? Over 1,400 species or kinds of bats. And they're all so different. How many do you think live in the state of South Carolina? 14 species of bats. Not very many that live in the state of South Carolina. And they all eat insects. But as you can see here, look at the variety and diversity. Look how many different colors they are. Look at how cute their faces are. They are not the mean evil creatures that we all think they are, especially when Halloween comes out. Look at the different shapes of their heads. Look at the different shapes of their their ears, their noses, they're all just so amazing. So hopefully you're continuing to color whatever color you want your bat to be. Bats use echolocation in South Carolina to find their prey. They will send out high pitch frequencies, too high for humans to hear. They'll bounce off their prey, such as insects, and their ears act like satellite dishes and the sounds are received and focused by something in their ear called a tragus. And that helps them to figure out, you know, if there's danger out there, if it's food, if it's prey, if it's nothing to worry about. So ears are incredibly important to bats. We're going to assemble the head now. So use your liquid glue and first put on your ears. And this is gonna take a while for everything to dry. So you might need after you assemble all pieces on your head, give it a couple minutes to dry before you continue on. Here are the all important ears. A little bit of glue on for the googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, you can just use a white piece of paper, you know, cut out white dots. And that saying, blind as a bat, I don't really know where that came from because bats are not blind. They can see. 
but the googly eyes does make it really cute. And again, you have to have a cute craft. Now we're gonna put on the teeth, and it, we made our bat look like it has fangs, but please keep in mind, especially during this Halloween season, bats are not mean and evil. They're critically important to the environment. They do a lot of good for humans and the environment, but this does make our bat look cute. But again, let it dry a little bit before you move on. We're going to glue the body onto the wings and you can either do one of two things. You can have a bat that doesn't have the tail extend beyond the wings or you can have a little bit of a tail. It all depends from bat to bat. So put some liquid glue on the back of the spoon. I'm gonna have a little bit of a tail. I have a Mexican free tail bat. And then we have white for legs for pipe cleaner. So I'm gonna take a black marker, color it in. And this is where we think hot glue comes in handy. We're gonna put some hot glue on here. And glue the legs on. And then hook them up for later so that you can have a free hanging bat. a lot. We also would have to swallow 